Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Minimum Player Account. I'm Stephanie and today we are taking a look at Kingdom Hearts Talisman. This is by The Op and I want to thank them for sending me this game. Also, if you do like my videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you're notified when I post new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. In Kingdom Hearts Talisman, your goal is to seal the door to darkness with your Keyblade. And to do that, you will travel through the board collecting Keyblade, companions, items, all while traveling through the Disney World into the darkness. So how to play the game is you on your turn will roll a die and will decide on which way you're going. So the die will tell you where you're landing in which direction. So once you decide on where you're going, you will then pick up an adventure card, look at that card and then if there is an enemy on that space, you would resolve fighting that enemy. Or if you drew an enemy card from the adventure deck, you would fight that enemy. And then if applicable as well, you would read what is on the space that you have landed on and resolve that as well. Once you have done that, it then moves on to the next person's turn. So playing Kingdom Hearts Talisman is actually very simple, but it's mainly about leveling up your character so that you can go to the inner sections of the board so that you can survive so you can get to the door to darkness and seal it. So though this is a cooperative game, you do get individual points at the end. So sealing the door to darkness will give you more points, but not necessarily mean that you win the game. So you want to make sure that you're trying your hardest to fight as many enemies as you can and trying to get all these items and companions and really trying to bolster yourself up. And if you want to as well, try to help out some companions so that you can be friendly and also gain a little bit of money while you do that. But that is how you play Kingdom Hearts Talisman. Let's move on to final thoughts so I can give you my thoughts on this game. Okay, so final thoughts for Kingdom Hearts Talisman. So this is a very simple game to learn, just like most of the op games. Very simple to learn, set up, and take down. I really wanted this game and enjoyed this game mainly for the theme of it, Kingdom Hearts. I have played it. I know about the story. Of course, I'm not an expert, so don't ask me that because I won't know. But my boyfriend is, so he can answer that for you. But we love the universe. I'm a huge Disney fan. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this because I loved it. I grew up kind of with the Kingdom Hearts, you know, games and everything like that. My younger siblings played the games, you know, it has the Disney feels to it. So it's all just nostalgia for me, which really just, you know, makes it feel like home. I really enjoyed this. I played this with my younger sibling and she is 13. She enjoyed this a lot. I will say out of all the games we played, we played a couple. This was the one she's like, I want to play it again. I want to play it again. I want to play it again. It does have um, simple enough rules, kind of like for younger ages, that they're able to understand and also kind of get a feel of how to play this game. You're just collecting cards and things like that. In the game that I actually played with my younger sibling, she actually won, so she was just like, I knew I was gonna win, but she did get lucky with some of her cards and companions because she was Donald and she got Louie, Dewey, and Huey, and that was just like, bolstered her up and I was just like, dang. But yeah, she was super excited at playing this game. I had a great time because it was still strategic enough for me to play it, to be entertained with it. But if you enjoy more strategic games, more complex games, this may not be for you because it is very simple. Though, you know, it does have, you know, replayability with the cards and the themes and everything that you're doing and the spaces that you're landing on can change up the game and, I haven't died, none of us died in our first game, so I don't know how I would feel about that if I died during the game, maybe it would add maybe a feeling of more complexity, but I think we were getting lucky with our roles and where we were going, so that was very helpful for us. But if you like 
any talisman games. If you like the skin of Kingdom Hearts, I would suggest you pick this up. The minis in this are really cool. I kind of wish that they had more Disney minis because I would just like love that. But there is a Mulan mini in this, which was really cool. So I was just like, yes. She was in like the warrior pose on one little leg. And I was just like, look at you girl. But anyways, I enjoyed this game and thank you guys so much for watching. Also, make sure to hit those notification buttons to be notified when I post new videos. I am going to be doing a lot of giveaways in the next couple months. So make sure to hit that subscribe and notify button so that you know when I post these videos that you can be a part of that with me. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.